Welcome everyone to sunrise here at Devil's Den in Wiltshire. I've, uh, I've spoken about this place in previous going to grounds and I've walked up here this morning and you can see uh, these massive stones. I read last week that they are, they together weigh 36 tons. Can that be true? Well, they certainly, uh, it's, it, it feels as if it could be true, certainly. It's right at the edge here of Fifield Down, which is one of the most glorious bits of Wiltshire and, and a, a fascinating ancient landscape. I know all landscapes are ancient, but I think what we mean by that is that there are more clues of, of ancient times here than in some other parts. Uh, lots of, of um, remains of old burial mounds and barrows like this one out of fortifications and field systems and settlements littered around the place along with all the sarsen stones that uh, that uh, have been left behind in, uh, in, in, in geological movements and, and, and different times uh, through, through the centuries and the millennia indeed and Devil's Den is, is as I mentioned is, is, a, is thought to be the entrance to a long barrow so it's like a doorway these hefty stones are a threshold and a place where people have reckoned with life and death and loss and hope and despair and all of those things which make it a very good Easter place uh, to come. And as with the other, uh, there's a, a famous long barrow or burial chamber up the road from here at West Kennet and this one has lost its its barrow and just has the doorway. So I think I'm standing in what would have been the burial chamber. So it's sacred ground. And you can see that the sun uh, bursts through, rises through the doorway into the burial chamber, just as it does in some of the other, in the West Kennet Barrow, certainly. And so a, a, a place of great symbolism where where dawn uh, has has broken through into uh, that that place of grief, so hugely symbolic. And I was reading in um, the Bible reading set for for today about the um, the entry of God's people Israel into the the Promised Land, uh, which. Is, is recorded at the beginning of the book of Joshua and it's just as Moses their great leader dies and they are faced with with how to uh, proceed into what they believe uh, is God's will for them without without him and it's a very stirring passage uh, where God uh, assures them that he is with them and there are these uh, wonderful encouraging words uh, do not be afraid uh, do not be dismayed, for the Lord your God shall go with you wherever you will go. Every place the sole of your foot touches, I will give to you. And that's a promise that uh, of God's providence and his presence in, uh, in our place, that his life and hope is to be found here. So uh, my prayer for you today in this ancient place is that uh, in Christ you would know uh, the assurance of, uh, uh, of light in the dark place, that you would know the, the, uh, the hope that comes from uh, these promises, that they may be a, a, an anchor to, to your soul this day. And wherever the soul of your foot touches, God would bless you as you go to ground.